Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at the life of Emily Roebling, a historic female engineer who played a large role in the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge. Before detailing her engineering feats, let's take a look at Emily's early life and the era in which she lived. Emily Roebling was born on September 23, 1843 in Cold Spring, New York. Growing up in the mid-1800s, female engineers were unheard of. Instead, women were expected to remain in the home and raise children. Higher education was reserved almost exclusively for men. As we'll learn, Emily took huge strides forward for women in STEM, defying the restricting expectations of women during her era. Emily was the second youngest of 12 children. She had a close relationship with her brother, Governor K. Warren. An inquisitive young mind, Roebling received the equivalent of a high school education at a convent school in Washington, D.C. In 1864, Emily visited her brother, who had become a Union Army commander during the Civil War, at his headquarters. It was there that she met and fell in love with Washington Roebling, a young civil engineer on her brother's staff. The couple got married in 1865. Washington Roebling's father, John A. Roebling, was also an engineer and was actually the designer of the Brooklyn Bridge. Unfortunately, after an accident at the construction site, John Roebling got an infection and passed away. Washington Roebling was then appointed as the chief engineer of the Brooklyn Bridge. Unfortunately, not long after, Washington became very ill. He was so weak to the point where he was bedridden. Emily quickly stepped up. At first, she served primarily as a liaison between Washington and the engineering team. A well-read and highly intelligent woman, Emily already had a basic understanding of bridge construction and engineering principles. As she immersed herself further and further into the project in place of her husband, she soon became an expert on construction strategies, material selection, cable fabrication, and more. Over time, Emily assumed nearly all of the chief engineering responsibilities, effectively taking over for her husband as the lead on the project. For a full decade, Emily supervised the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge, taking on so many responsibilities to the point where many assumed she had designed the bridge herself. Throughout the construction, she also continued to take care of her husband. At one point in 1882, Washington Roebling was in jeopardy of losing his job as chief engineer due to his illness, but Emily was able to convince politicians, who were almost entirely male at the time, to keep him in the position, effectively convincing them to continue allowing her to see the bridge to completion. The Brooklyn Bridge was finished in 1883. Sure enough, Emily Roebling was the first one to cross the bridge. Riding across the bridge in style in a horse-drawn carriage, Emily proudly carried a rooster across her lap as a symbol of victory. At the bridge's opening ceremony, fellow engineer Abram Stevens Hewitt spoke highly about Emily in his speech, saying that the opening of the bridge was, quote, an everlasting monument to the sacrificing devotion of a woman and of her capacity for that higher education from which she has been too long disbarred, end quote. Confident in her capabilities, Emily once famously said, quote, I have more brains, common sense, and know-how generally than have any two engineers, civil or uncivil. And But for me, the Brooklyn Bridge would never have had the name Roebling in any way connected with it. End quote. A lifelong learner, Emily was able to finally pursue higher education and received a law certificate from New York University. At the time, the Brooklyn Bridge was the longest span suspension bridge in the world. The bridge, which connects Brooklyn and Manhattan, symbolized American industry and opportunity and continues to stand today. While Emily passed away in 1903, her remarkable achievement of constructing one of the architectural marvels of the 19th century as the first female field engineer in history lives on. While she never held the title of chief engineer formally, her contributions were apparent and continue to be recognized today. Emily's efforts are immortalized on the plaque on the Brooklyn side of the bridge, which reads, The Builders of the Bridge dedicated to the memory of Emily Warren Roebling, whose faith and courage helped her stricken husband, Chief Engineer Washington Roebling, complete the construction of this bridge from the plans of his father, John A. Roebling, who gave his life to the bridge. At the bottom of the plaque, there is also the following quote, Back of every great work, we can find the self-sacrificing devotion of a woman. For all of the girls watching today, remember that just as Emily Roebling was able to change the world using STEM, you can too. Thank you.